Hi, I'm Dan Shapley. I'm the Water Quality Program Director for Riverkeeper, and I'm a proud board member of the Hudson River Watershed Alliance. Before there was a park at Crystal Lake, there was a group of volunteers arranged in a bucket brigade hauling out garbage, 12 dump trucks full of garbage. Before there was a wooded trail at Machada's Lake, there were volunteers out planting trees and showing people the wonder of the water in their backyard. Before businesses could move into a blighted mill building on Upper Broadway, the owner had to be shown the promise of the creek winding by. And before any of this, someone had to see the potential in Newburgh's other waterfront, the Quisaic Creek. Someone had to walk the length of the creek, learn its story, and tell it. Someone had to imagine a better future. That person was Peter Smith, one of the Hudson River Watershed Alliance's 2020 Wavemaker Award winners. Now, Peter doesn't work alone, of course. He works with Quisaic Creek Watershed Alliance and with a who's who of regional groups and agencies. In fact, enjoying the people he works with is one of the ingredients to his success. It takes vision to see the potential in a hidden creek in the midst of a city. It takes guts to raise the alarm about threats to that city's drinking water supply. It started for Peter with a question from a local official. Have you heard of Murphy's Ditch? For Peter, it was a start to a journey that found him tracing the streams and their century-old diversion channels that carry water to Washington Lake, Newburgh's primary reservoir. He waded knee-deep in the garbage juice leaching from a local landfill and followed the currents of water as they passed under the New York State Thruway. Fact by fact, he put together the story of a water supply at risk. The official maps were wrong. The official facts weren't facts. Peter found the facts, and he documented each step with whatever tools he knew how to use or could learn to use. He shared the story in the form of camcorder footage, in an ever-expanding PowerPoint presentation, and finally, in the pages of a watershed management plan. There are binders full of his notes, now a permanent public resource at the Newburgh Free Library. Tragically, his warnings proved prescient when, in 2016, the reservoir was found to be polluted with toxic firefighting foam from the streams flowing off the Stewart Air National Guard base. The work Peter started has, in many ways, just begun. Newburgh's other waterfront is a work in progress, and the effort to restore water quality in Washington Lake will take years, likely decades. When we look back in the years to come at what has gone right, we'll find a volunteer, Peter Smith, at the start of the story. It started with his muck boots, his camcorder, his PowerPoint presentation. It started with facts, friends, and a vision. Peter, congratulations. You richly deserve this award. It's beautiful, uh, although this may be a first, an award for failure. Let me explain. About 12 years ago, the Quasay Creek Watershed Alliance set out to understand the Quasay Creek Watershed. We waded through wetlands, we trespassed, we sloshed along the New York State Thruway. Among the many things we learned was that the Quasay Creek Watershed was home to the city of Newburgh's drinking water. We did some more research. We sloshed around some more. We trespassed some more. We read a lot of maps, not rock and science. And what we learned did not present a pretty picture. We found the inlet and the outfall of a 50 plus acre wetland, a wetland that drains the town of New Windsor's old Cap landfill. We found the New York State running through this wetland. We found that this wetland feeds our drinking water reservoir. And you can all go take a little journey on your own and see it from the back of Walmart. Not a pretty picture. We saw horrifying patterns of land use, clearly inappropriate to the health and safety of the city's drinking water. 
And with the guidance of the DEC estuary program, we brought this to the public's attention. We made a crude little video. I think I was holding a pencil in my teeth and trying to hold the camera at the same time. And several PowerPoint presentations that were shown around. You've probably been bored to death with some of them. Once explained, we thought that the laws and regulations would come to the rescue. Wasn't there a Clean Water Act? Wasn't there a Clean Drinking Water Act? Wasn't there a Department of Health looking out for things like this? Well, apparently not. Shortly after these discoveries, the airbase was shown to have contaminated Silver Stream, a tributary to the reservoir. And now, four years on, they're still avoiding taking on the job of remediating their sources of contamination. Newburgh's water has been stolen, and we want it back. And the tools are there to get it back. We all know how to do it. We've learned how to do it. But the job isn't finished. We have not succeeded in doing the work that needs to be done. Newburgh's drinking water remains stolen, and we want it back.